Hi guys, we're gonna do a quick 15, 20 minute video here <clears throat> just to get into some side body, get into some twisting. Um, we're gonna play with a little bit of side pro on and off throughout this practice. So if you've never done this, don't worry, you don't have to take the full pose. You only ever need to go <clears throat> into a place that feels right for you. If you know the full pose, you can obviously play. There'll be some advanced variations and some more simple variations. So we're gonna get straight on into this. <clears throat> Come round onto hands and knees, find yourself. Just getting some weight into the wrists, swaying backwards and forwards, rocking in, rocking out. Begin to just allow the breath to soften and quieten. Maybe spin those fingers round so they face towards you and gently again, rocking backwards and forwards. Turn the fingers in to face towards each other and rock them out. Round the spine. And then turn the palms to face up and just gently push down into those hands there. Perfect. Give yourself a little roll out. Give the wrist just a momentary rub around. And then we'll find our way into plank. We'll hold plank just for a few moments. Again, what we'll tends to be common in plank is people have their hips down or they tend to like stick with their bum up. You're gonna to try to tuck the tailbone under you, rock the weight forward, push into those arms, hold and kick for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna rock forward, come down through our push up, push back tall, lift up into downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up towards the sky, pull the right knee, tap your right elbow, take it back, pull the right knee in, Keep your chest and shoulders facing forward as best as you can. Just bring the right knee to left elbow. Take it back. Right knee to right wrist. Take it back. Right knee to left wrist. But again, keep the chest facing forward. From here, see if you can begin to suck that knee up towards your elbow, crunching that left side body. Three, two, one, take the leg back up, step the left foot through between your hands, inhale, reach the arms up over your head, exhale, pull those hands down through cactus arms, and then reach your left hand forward, right hand back, on your next breath, inhale, left hand up, right hand down your back leg, exhale, left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor, step back into your downward facing dog and pedal and shake yourself around. We're going to do the same on the other side, we're getting straight into getting warm left leg lifts, pull that left knee and tap the left elbow slash tricep, left leg towards the sky, pull that left knee in, keep the chest facing forward, tap left elbow slash tricep, sorry, the right elbow slash tricep. Take it back. Tap your left wrist. Take it back. This time tap your left, your right wrist. Keep the chest facing forward. Try to feel as if you're crunching into that left side body. Slide that knee up that elbow. Hover. Three, two, one. Take it back. This time we step through between your hands again. Inhale, lift those arms up over the head. Exhale, reach left hand back, right hand forward. Right hand goes to the sky, left hand onto right thigh. Exhale, right hand down to the floor. Left hand lifts towards the sky. Left hand down to the floor. We're gonna step back to plank this time. From our plank, we're gonna come down through our push-up. Push back tall, drop to the knees, roll back child's pose. Roll through onto your knees, your chest and your chin, and then just toes touch, roll the hips down. Walk the hands forward, cobra. Pull back on the hands, lengthen the abdominals out, walk forward, not up. Exhale, rolling back. Down, hands under shoulders, child's pose or down dog, your choice. And then we'll all make our way into downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our feet slowly, gently, as quietly, as softly as we can forward. 
Sink the hips down into chair pose. Sweep your arms up over the head. Pull the hands down through prayer. Just allow your ribs to drop a little bit. Cross your left elbow over your right knee. Twist towards the right. Lift your left heel off the floor onto the left ball. Lift the left ball onto the left toe. Lift the left foot off the floor. Step your left foot back. Find your twist through here. Reach your right hand towards the sky. Same position we were previously in. Right hand back, left hand forward. Drop your left knee. Keep reaching that left hand towards the sky. Bring the right hand down. Exhale, left elbow crosses right knee again. We twist our body out there. Inhale. We're going to draw our way back up towards the sky. Look towards the thumbs. Exhale, hands come down. Step yourself back towards your plank. Come down through Chaturanga. Inhale. Push back up. Roll to down dog. Pick that right knee up. Drag it across. Tap your right elbow. Straighten the right leg. Place it to the floor. Reach your arm up. Fall and triangle. Opening through that body. Left hand comes down to the floor. We're going to pick that right knee up and step it through between the hands. Step the left foot through towards the front of the mat. Sink your hips down. Draw the arms up. Hands come into prayer. Cross your left elbow over your, uh, sorry, your right elbow over your left knee. Twisting left. Shift the weight into the left foot. Pick your left heel up. Pick the left ball of the foot up, come on to, I mean, sorry, pick your right heel up, I'm terrible tonight. <laughs> right ball of the foot onto the right toe. Pick the right foot up, step it back to the back of the mat, twisting through towards the left. From here, we're gonna inhale, left hand back, right hand forward, we're back in this position here. Can we try to straighten our back leg? It should mean the pelvis turns towards the right a little bit. It's fine. Drop that uh, right knee down. Cross your right elbow over your left knee. Twisting through towards the left. Breathing here. Inhale, sweep. Those arms back up over the head. Then exhale, bring them back down towards the floor. Pick that back toe up, step it back into your plank. Come down through push up, push back tall into downward facing dog. Left leg lifts high, drag it across, tap your right elbow, tricep, whatever. Straighten the leg, place it to the floor, lift to fall and triangle. And then right hand comes back down. We pull that left knee back up to the chest and step it through between the hands. Step forward into your version of a squat. So mine's going to be a deep Hindi squat. You might be on the toes, see how you go. So we're going to get ready to try our first little attempt into side crow. There's a very couple of variations we can try. We're not actually going to take off today. What we're going to try is bring our left hand through to nine o'clock and our right hand through to nine o'clock. So now hopefully our right elbow is into the outside of our left leg. Going to walk the hands a little bit further across off the mat and you're going to look forward. Now the idea being is not to let your chest drop, keep your chest lifted, look forward and just rock some weight into your arms. Maybe you could lift your left toe off the floor and pull it towards the sky. It'll help you lift up. Rock back down, sweep it round, hands towards three o'clock, elbow into, left elbow into right thigh, hands to the floor. Remember you're looking forward, you're lifting through the chest, bending elbows, reaching forward, pick your uh, right foot up off the floor. Come back. Down, we're going to come into this space again in a few moments. Lift the hips up into your 
forward fold, hang out down here, sway and shake yourself around, just give yourself a little loosen off there, roll yourself up towards standing and then roll yourself back down. As you reach towards the floor, hands into the ground, step back towards your plank. Once you're in your plank, you're going to come down Chaturanga, push back up, drop to knees, chi, child's pose. We're going to roll through knees, chest and chin to bums in the sky, tap chest to the floor. Drop the knees down, let the pelvis come down. Push to high plank, so do that on your knees if you need to. And we're just going to slowly bend our elbows for a count of five, four, three, two, one. If you need to, bend your knees, put them on the floor, push back tall. Everyone come back off the hands for a moment. The reason we're doing this is that inside crow it has a bent arm strength position, even though it's more of a balance, but you have to be able to actually have your arms bent for a while. So that's what we're going to practice. Again, rolling forward, lifting the hips, tuck your tailbone. Again, use your knees if you need to, but bend the elbows for five, four, three, two, one. Hold up for three, two, one, push back tall, five, four, three, two, one, lift back up to uh, downward facing dog. From here, we're going to take our hand back towards our feet, all the way towards our feet. We're going to sink down in towards our squat pose again. We're going to lift up onto the toes and drop down. So even if you're on your toes, you're just going to try to begin to uh, sort of Move the heels towards the floor. And you're just going to come up and down and up and down. And then we're going to lift up. The right elbow is going to cross the left thigh. So we're actually going to try and take off this time. Hands into the floor. And again, the idea being here that chest is facing 9 o'clock, knees are facing 12 o'clock. Fingers spread. Think about this inside V of finger and thumb being where the weight is. From here again, look forward. You can lift through the upper chest. And then as you do, lean out, hook your elbow into the gap between, or that line between your thigh and your calf. And again, lean out into that. From here, pick your left foot up towards the sky. Look forward. That might just help you lift your right foot off the floor. And then we can Hold our side crow here. Place the feet down. Switch sides. Right elbow into that crease between your uh, right thigh and calf. Place the hands into the floor. Look forward. Lean out. Keep the elbows hugging. Imagine I strapped the arms in towards each other. And then just pick that right foot up. Pick that left foot up. Keep lifting through the chest. Come back down. Walk your hands forward. We're not done, but more to play with. Have downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up towards the sky. Pull that right knee in. Pull the heel up towards your bum and roll forward into your high plank. Tap your right elbow. Roll your knee down. down, 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 down. Touch your right wrist. Roll it across towards your left wrist. Slide up towards your left armpit. Step the right foot through between the hands. Turn the left foot out. Rise up to warrior two. Sink your hips down. Lift the right hand towards the sky and reach it upwards. Left hand creeps down your left leg. And then right forearm to right leg. Left arm over your head. If you've got it in your practice, your hand could come to the floor. But maybe that's not in your practice, so don't worry about it. Inhale, sweep your arms back up. And then cartwheel the hands down to the floor. We're going to roll for a nice outer hip stretch. Outside of the left foot, outside of the right foot. Left hand stays down, right hand reaches up. Hips drop. Hips lift. Hips drop. 
hips lift, spin yourself all the way. So now your left foot faces the back of the mat, right foot faces the front. Sweep your arms up into warrior two. Don't worry, we haven't missed the little core, but that will come. We're into this warrior two. You're not gonna be facing away from the camera, but don't worry. Turn your left hand towards the sky. Reach your left hand up. Sink your hips down. Right hand is resting on your back thigh. Left forearm to your front leg. Right hand over your head. Or left hand down inside your left foot. If that's an option for you. Inhale, lift yourself back up. And then cartwheel those hands down towards the floor, push down, lift your right foot off, tap your right armpit tricep, you're sorry, your left armpit or tricep. Slide that knee down to your left wrist, I'm terrible my left and right like. Slide it over towards your right wrist and slide it up towards your armpit. Take it back into downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our hands back to the back of the mat, sink down towards your um, squat pose again. So if you find that you can't see your camera, you could um, quickly run and get to the other end of your mat, see how you go. If you've got the mat to your picture side, I'm like I have, then you should be fine. We're gonna take another couple of rounds of our side crow pose, but with some added variations. So if that's difficult, the options should be that if you can't get your feet off the floor, you're just weight bearing into the arms, leaning in. So again, you would find that left elbow outside the right leg. Now obviously pointing to three. And all you're gonna do is bend your elbows and feel the elbows pull towards each other. So here, the elbows are hugging in. This is gonna help fire up serratus anterior, all these stabilizing muscles through the shoulders, and then you're just gonna lean out, and all you're gonna try and do is pick, in my case, I'm going to my right foot up, still looking forward, the weight is over both hands, and then come back down. If you can, that left foot eventually lifts. Switch sides, do the other one. So bring that right elbow into that left thigh crease, hands to the floor. You will find that the arm that obviously has the leg on will bear more weight, but hopefully because we're balancing it out. So bend the elbows, hug the knees, the elbows in, reach your chest forward, and just start by keeping your right toe on the floor, then eventually it can lift off. Place it down to the floor, and then we're gonna turn back to the front. So again, we're gonna have um, sorry, it's back to the other side. So again, we are going to be practicing a slightly more advanced variation. We're going to try and split our legs, um, almost moving into one of the equipadas as well. So left elbow digs into right elbow crease, hand into right thigh crease, sorry. Hands come out, lean your chest forward, pick your uh, right foot up, pick your left foot up. First option is gonna to be to try to straighten the legs out towards the left. And so you end up in this sachet. And then you can try to bring them back in and come down. So again, that'll be the next option. And then you can cross them over, hands into the floor, same thing. Lift up, straighten legs, bring them back. Final variation before we take a little stretch out will be to bring those elbows in, lean out, pushing forward. And then what we're gonna to try to do here is take the left leg back behind us and the right leg out to the left. And here we have Equipada two. Come back, drop down, into the other side, hands down, reach out, lift the feet, right leg off, reaches out, left leg out towards three o'clock, come back, and we're done. Beautiful. So just for a moment, bring your right knee into a pigeon, and just relaxing forward, and lifting back up. 
relaxing forward, lifting up, drop down to that right leg, sweep yourself around, right leg back behind you, sinking down and lifting up, sinking down and lifting up, roll to face. Whichever way you like, so the soles, the feet come together. Bounce your legs out. Inhale, sit yourself tall. Cross your legs or whichever feels best. Interlink the hands, lift the chest tall. Fold yourself down and lift the arms up. Come back out of that, sweep the arms up. Interlink, push them tall. Little side bend left. Come back up, a little side bend right. Come back up, give everything a little shake out. Close the eyes, breathe here, just for five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you all very much for joining me. That was a short, sharp lesson into Psycho and Echo Part of Two. Um, if you enjoyed that, please share it around. If you'd like to learn more, then uh, drop me a line, ask me questions. I'm always here to help.